I know. Just give me a little time here. We got Slay Raider going here. We ain't messing around, yeah. are we? K-Fire Radio, your news and weather authority. When Todd's Toro, Toro Snowblower, Kirkwood A's Hardware, it's the 826, 8 horse, 26 inch. And we're giving it away December 14th, by which time we may have more snow. Maybe. Secret Word will repeat during the K-Fire Cafe between 3 and 5 today. Daryl Lees and I believe Trent Luce will be joining him. Diamond. Wow. When, is that your cue? When you hear the word diamond, be the 10th caller at 701 Yeah, it's on. Well, you used to, didn't you used to work in radio? You know how this stuff works. My first nickname was called it. Diamond Don. I know. I saw that. I saw that. That's where I got it from. I don't, anyway, know, what I don't know what you're doing. Secret word Diamond <laughs> comes out between 3 and 5. Speaking of secret words, keyword after 9 o'clock, $1,000 inflation compensation. Enter at KFYR.com. Get a call before 10 o'clock. Take the call. It's going to come from a secret unlisted on private whatever the heck number i don't know what it's uh, let it snow it's, let it snow it's man. not like they call me to give me a thousand dollars so i don't know what the but, uh, but i know it's not gonna have a number on it and i know you're gonna be happy because don do you answer calls that come from secret numbers and you don't know uh, let it go to voicemail and see so you can't uh, let this go to voicemail basically no but once in a great while i'll just be like okay and i will literally go you have 10 seconds to wow me and then they usually think I'm a recording, oh, and then go. they hang up on me. I never thought of doing that one. Just try. I it. thought I'd done them all, but no. I haven't done that one. You're welcome. Like ten seconds. Yeah. And I'm you have ten up. seconds to wow oh, me. Oh, that's good. Oh, get out of here. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I'm a pro, man. Eight forty at K Fire. I told you eight forty, right? Mm. What time is it? Eight forty. Huh? Come on. Oh. Chainsaw. I thought you. I thought you said you were Facebook living this thing. I, I want, don't know how to do I it. To, it's not working. I want to be the only moment I was actually on time for something to be I, captured. I know. <laughs> Just give me a little time here. We got Slay Raider going here. We ain't messing around, yeah. are we? Surprise, oh surprise. God. Are you surprised I got Slay Raider going for you? Uh, I'm what? stunned for some reason. Oh, let's hit the post, and here we go. Yeah, it's like he's played this on the radio before. Diamond Don Anger. Fun. All right. Maybe you caught him on what? Let's see. Yeah, you played this on KS95, didn't you? (laughs) Yeah, then they showed me the door right after 9 11. They're like, you gotta go, man. I'm like, what? You're not one of us. So went over to KQ. I'll show you. There you go. Hi. Now, were you ever on uh, Hot Rock and Roll 4 or. That just what a great question. I interned there what you, in December. Don't put we're that thing on me. Well, come on now. They don't know what you look like. I just met you after it's, 30 years of not meeting you. Face for radio, man. There's a reason that whole thing. I know. We've known each other for 20 some odd years. And, well, it's, in your defense, it's not like everybody blows through Bismarck. And yet here's you. The, the big-time Minneapolis radio oh, resume, sure. and he oh, sure. drops it to go work in the oil field. Pays triple. Pays triple. Sorry, That's because you, you work cheap at KQ. Well, I did. They paid me eight bucks. Bernard made two million. I, I can say anything but swear, not right? Because it's... Well, no, it's over. It's over. Well, I mean, but, he's, well he's not over. Well, Heck, he's on Billboard no, with his it. podcast I get it. God bless him, man. I've met him five times. I want to oh, meet, I I want a picture with him. Anyway, I interned at Hot Rockin', man, KJJL back in the day. That was a uh, very cool radio station. It, the Until greatest. Roy Park found out, oh, right. I don't want my stations being this loud. Um, devil devil music. Before. The devil music yeah. stuff. I saw Guns N' Roses open for Alice Cooper. Free tickets. Oh, man. Right? They did Sweet Child of Mine. Nobody knew what it was. Right. and Because uh, I remember when that record came in the mail, like Guns N' Ro- and, and to me, that sounded like a country name. Um, Guns and Roses. What is this? Yeah, my pal Mike, Big Mike. I'm going to name drop. He's Riff Raff super fan. He said they'll never make it. Look at these guys. And I'm like, well, you're my, you're of course. Can I crack a beer right they now? They told Elvis he wouldn't make it. They told yeah, Buddy right. Holly he wouldn't make it. Elvis's dad said I never met a guitar player that was worth a crap. And uh, you well, know, see, dad, what a dad. There you have it. 
<laughs> there you have it. What? Okay, I'm dying to know what kind he brought. You know, this is... Oh, my dad worked for Hams, God rest his soul, for oh. uh, 41 freaking years, and I bought yes. the evil, the evil drinking beer on the it's, radio. It's, I, it's funny Bud you mentioned Weiser. Hams because I was just looking at... I don't know if I might have closed it already. There was just a thing... Ah, I did close it. Just but open it. The hams. Oh, well, there you go. You want one, dude? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crack it. Here, get yeah. the crack one. Here, check yeah. it out. All right. I don't believe um, this. I'm coming back. It's, okay. They're they're props. Yeah, so these are fake. These are man. props. Don't be fooled. Don't. Flavorator. I can I? I don't know. <laughs> if I hit that button right there, I sure as hell can. Yeah. Now, bi- oh, here we go. Second song. Bismarck listeners, this is how Larry the Cable Guy started his career, and they're going to be like, who was that guy? Can we have him back? And then I'm going to be like, you know, Larry makes millions. That's my dream. (laughs) I've been drinking, though. Let's try to hit the post. Yeah, crank it up, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Bismarck, rock and roll, stop. He nails it. You know, we do have an opening on Rock 101.5 over there. Oh, give me an app. Give me, let's fill out an application. It's, it's a, what is this, 1985? You don't fill out an app anymore. It's I am online. so it's old It's a job school, rack man. online, man. I like VHS and, cassettes. And, and, uh, and don't, you, don't you love old school job apps where, where did you go to grade school? Did you graduate? Oh, what man. What was your, degree, right. your area of concentration? Great point. I had no concentration you know what, back right? in That's school. That's the fun part. <laughs> I kind of get excited. I'm super weird, as they say. But I like filling those out. You can be creative. Exactly. And then they'll hire you because they're like, this guy filled it out perfectly. He can't concentrate. That's our for, guy. If you're looking for a radio job, yes. If you're, mm-hmm. if you're in the rest of society. There's nothing else we can do. Filling out the, uh, <laughs> filling out the app. I look name at him and go, okay, this guy's a smart ass, and we can't have him here. You know, I'm the king of the name drops. Really good friend of mine, Steve Carey, who turned me on to Slave Raiders, always said, Don, you got to try the beer coffee mix thing. You take pictures, man, please. Yeah, I, I'll never be back. I, Steve, this is for you. I'll never be back. Why I'm just kidding, man. I'm riffing, man, because that means I'm coming back. I don't want to leave. Okay, now my, <laughs> my, my K Fire listeners do want to know how the heck it went from radio to oil. Apart from the big, big t- paycheck thing. That's it. I'm there for the money. The big, big and we paycheck. talk about it at the office. We're like, we're just here for the money. And we're like, well, yeah. Don, you're our personality. I'm like, thank you. I do the stuff <laughs> nobody still, wants they to. They call you radio. They do. It's <laughs> insane. James Pratt. I told you a name drop. Uh, 2011. I'm standing in orientation in Dickinson. And he's Count like. the number of name, name drops. Oh, you for get it sure. Right. You need the little bell. The ding. Name drop stuff. Texter says slavery to rules, by the way. Oh, sweet God. Yeah, we about talk that? about them like they're still a you know live thing. Yeah. And sorry, deal with. There are Led Zeppelin. But I'm standing in orientation, and James Pratt goes, you know, get your lasagna and move along, radio. Boom, and it's oh. stuck. I took it down to Texas with me. Wow. It's just the best. That is fantastic. So you've managed to put up with North Dakota winters, or do you escape them? When they come, how does that work out? In my job interview in 2011, I said, I'm really good. I had zero experience, greener than greener than green. And the guy's interviewing me, and I go, Cold, I'm from Minnesota. We invented that. So (laughs) I I ain't scared of nothing, man. Uh, 26 below last year, my record was St. Cloud, 25 below, but I was inside, not working in it. 26 below on the job last year, and here we are again. Look at you. Bring it. Yeah, because there is a big, <laughs> big difference between driving to the radio station at 26 Below and oh my God. actually being out there in the oil field at 26 Below. There's, there's a difference. Just embrace it. You see those paychecks, and you, you know, and usually when it's that cold, you're kind of not getting much done anyway, except staying warm and living. Right. Because it'll Hopefully. kill you. Yeah. And um, the it's idea. Just, all the guys on the crew were like, okay, hey, cab up, get the heat while well, waiting for the part to come in. And it's just, I've been doing this too long. It's, uh, it's not terrible. I was say, how it's long okay. has it? What, 2011? 2011. Sure. June of 2011. Was that 12 years? Okay, it doesn't seem like 12 years. My pal Bill Lundstrom, can't say last names. He uh, <laughs> he he's uh, he's listening. Everybody's listening. It's a radio last it's so name. Good. It doesn't matter. Yeah, really. Uh, Michael's Saint like, John. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's my, you know, playing no, the slavery. Nobody now. using the name Michael's 
Is that actually uh, me and you Michael? know, we shouldn't say that because there's some great people. Anyway, really? But Bill said to me, you know, you guys, there's about five bad days a year. Don't let winter scare you off, man. And uh, again, you see five those, those huh? paychecks. Yeah. Yeah. He's of course he's, he's more than five and it can kill you. Oh, we only have two songs, do we? It's ah, two it's more than the handy. losers down the road. That's all I had. Well, I didn't anticipate actually talking to you for more than eight minutes, but I'm, I'm willing to. Oh, I'll be here. I'll... I had my CDs in the car if you needed me to run. I, I got a CD player here. I know. Uh, cool. We actually have a mini disc player down the hall. We I have, have mini discs in my them. car right now. Dude, you and I, mini where have discs. you been my whole life? <laughs> I mean, just waiting. Oh, he can do the voice, too. We do voices. <laughs> you know, this is the new morning show. People creep out when I do that, too. Too bad. Oh, so too that's, bad. That's the real you. I'm like, it's called a voice. Stop. I only have 11 people watching me. I'm a failure. Now, but what, wait till the replay. Ask me they, cool they, questions. Sorry. They, they, yeah, replay. Yeah, you're Jesse, right, dude. You're right. Jesse, nope. Jesse's our, our star journalist here. All right, I have a question. Fire away. It, it, it goes behind. Who are you? Why are you here? You have you to homeless? have stories behind your choice of scarf and, Look at and knit cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vikings uh, cap, twin scarf. I was called a billboard. I was called, hey, you're a, you're a billboard. And I'm like, that's a great idea. Everything I wear is a conversation starter. It just is. Think about it. I'm lonely. I'm gone all the time. Walking around the mall, talking to strangers. Talk, talk to me. <laughs> Why are you called radio? Why not? I don't know. You know, but everything you I wear in is radio, for. In, you still act like you're on radio. I do. It's ridiculous. And there's a midlife crisis talk, in there somewhere. Talk but, in your radio voice. Don't you love that one when people? Uh... Right. I'll kind of forget about it. About it. I'm trying to get back to my Canada. It. About it. And um, I'll forget. And they're like, you should be or are you? And I'm like, oh, I forgot. The big one, I, I said it to her earlier, I said, when I'm on the phone, people think I'm a recording, and they'll hang up on me. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> Problem solved, unless, uh, you know, like the credit card's frozen again or something. Eat when that happens. You bet. But yeah, he, I don't know if I you, can you, are, you do seem to be a little bit of a Twins Vikings fan. It's sort just. Of thing or, or is I'm, it just the... Uh, and I love the established 1961 oh, Vikings right, stocking cool? cap. That is In, great. Dickinson, I should know the name of the strip mall, but a friend of mine, Jeff, who's probably listening, he um, uh, he he sold it now. But I bought. He had a NFL store, and oh, um, I bought. I would just spend too much money, and it's all Minnesota the things stuff. Things you can do when you have big oil field money, right? It's not terrible. So the NFL store—that's where you got the twin scarf, right? Yeah, all yeah. of this, all sure. of this, Jeff. North Dakota guy. He right. Opened, he opened his dresser drawer, and it's just nothing but Twins Viking stuff. I uh, don't know that. I've <laughs> never been to his house or whatever. Just but do, you, do you have a house yet, or do, do you just live in noise. oil country? I mean, what? how does that work? The family's back in Arizona. I'm hardly Arizona. There. Oh, yeah. You didn't wow. even know that, did you? No, I did yeah. not. Casa Grande between two they, they were in the Twin Cities area, but. Yeah, yeah, nomads. Um, I'm just chasing the money train. Alex is an ASU sophomore studying Walter Cronkite School of Sports of Journalism. Ah, He's a media guy like his old, have it. old man. Yeah, there you so have proud, it. So proud. Pat Tillman. Uh, Blake's go. 11th grader in high school. Back on the basketball team. Okay. Just doing it. Wowing. Wowing. How late in life do you think you could do the oil thing where you have to Such finally give into it? I hope I'm wrong, but literally. Dead air. Dead air. Literally, I'll no, just do this till I'm dead. This is news talk. We don't always... Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Right on. See the beers <laughs> kicking into him, getting all. Chatty. It's called bumper music, and then the bumper music stops, and then we, you know, just talk like people do. Barring a lottery victory, which I never buy a ticket, so I'm pathetic. I will do this till I'm till I'm dead. And I know that so sounds cryptic. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. This 99 it. and. Well, I'm a disc jockey. What am I? What is out there that pay? I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an accountant. I wanted to be a Walmart reader. They did away with those because you can't talk to kids anymore. They'll throw you in jail. <laughs> Come on, people. Stop what are handing, we doing? Stop handing him candy, and you God won't have that problem. God bless America. <laughs> God bless America. He's waving our flag around here. Just, just don't let that drop in the ground. No you know, there's, there's etiquette and stuff. Ronnie Van Zandt. I just want to mention Mitch Hedberg. You remember Mitch? Oh, man. Right. Yes. I just want to keep him alive. Oh, absolutely. I've been at his grave site. And, oh, what a, what a, I just drove the whole conversation. Yeah, uh, yeah right. I know. It's, yeah. you know, always into a high note. No, no, no. Mitch Let Hedberg. Me, any any other on. dead people you want to bring up? Oh, man, is that a great, that's a great <laughs> segue. I love this, okay, man. No, Elvis. He's the king, baby. Um, I got my Elvis. You right can here. even do Elvis. Look at this. Yeah, somebody asked it's, me another question. It's, it, it's only 
Don Andrew, by the way, if you're just joining us, Don Andrew, a good friend of mine. No clue. I finally just met him for the first time in real life. Last name. Only person that brings up Slave Raider and Elvis in the same paragraph. I can't believe it. I am a mess. With that kind of talent. Good call. No, I you know, know what I'm doing We have an opening now. on Rock 101.5. I or, know what I'm doing now. I have light Diamond Don in the morning. Got the nickname. I'm sending this in. To, <laughs> I'm submitting this tape. I'm going, no. I, already, I found our guy. He's uh, yeah. right here. We'll talk. Let's Get talk. Get the checkbook open. I called it, and it's in writing on there on the social media that they're going to offer me a job on the spot. That's all I ever get. I'm the Forrest Gump, though. It's cool. I, I love if it. it. If Thank it's you. up to me, it, it's offered. Consider it offered. Thank if you. It's up to me. Uh, I'm, I'm not the final say hiring guy or even the guy who posted it. the job rack, so, but still. Still. Can't. I feel bad for saying that. <laughs> we'll talk. Let's talk shop. I just you love saying You haven't even it. seen the checkbook. I know. Good call. It's this IR facility media. is really nice. Isn't it cool? It's really nice. 18 laps is a mile, by no. the way. On the, uh, oh, the no track. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Us you older get cats. skateboard out or something like that. Us, get, get your rollerblades out. Older guys that, that need, need to get, get, get our steps in. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's exactly. Exactly. All right. Best... Why. Best band other than Slave Raider that nobody pays attention to anymore they should be. David Lee Roth, Van Halen. I just wanted to say that. I'm a name dropper. I, uh, what's, I still pay attention to them. It's a David Lee Roth thing. He's like, you David asked me a question. Better I'll... than Sammy Hagar, right? Absolutely. Were, yeah. I, but yeah, I get both sides. I do. All my hardcore friends are like, dude, it's Roth. But I'm like, what Sammy did, come on. Give the guy some credit. Well, it was good stuff. And now there's Wolfgang. It's just beautiful. It's so cool. Is he going to pick up the baton and, and he was march on like just that? in Minneapolis, tearing stuff up? Oh, really? Wolfie. You know, I mean this so respectfully too. And Wolf said it. He goes, "I have my mom's metabolism and my dad's anxiety." Think oh. of right. Think of that's oh. a great line. You know, Man. Wolf. Right, well, Dad. That's as honest as it gets, right? God Almighty. You know, Valerie, the Italian chef. God, she's America's sweetheart. Oh, yeah. I'll stop there before people start. You can't talk about. We're not talking about America's people. America's sweetheart. Right. How can you be offended at that? Well, can't be. She, she had the weight issues, and then Eddie had the drinking. Still issues. America's sweetheart. Well, that, Eddie's drinking is not her fault. Anyway, or, or is it? Moving right along. <laughs> okay, um, what was is. the original question though? What band is what? And don't you like? And who? Band that everybody. Doesn't pay attention to any more than should be other than oh, Slave Raiders. So we got two. We got to have side A of the cassette, side B of the cassette. Good Lord. You know, the oh. Don Andrew mixtape. I'm so out of touch, but this is what's, my... what's in the Don Andrew mixtape that people would be going, <sighs> really? You listen to that? Here we go. This is for Motley Mark, my, my guy on the, in the oil field. Mark, love you, man. He's a, a King's Axe. I don't even, you know, oh, the band King's Axe. I use that for bumper music. Oh, my God. So good. You're oh talking about up after uh, nine o'clock, and oh. I see that's the stuff that drives Daryl Lee's host the show, and I drive him nuts because that's the stuff I'll play for bumper music. Nobody, and knows he thinks there's are. nobody that can sing worth a darn other than Chris Ledo. So God bless there. Doug Pinnock, Christian. He's gay. He's a left-handed bass player. He's black. And they're just everything. Wow. They have everything in that band, and they're so good. That's a and, mold that got broken the second it got used, right? You don't find that on trees. Unreal. Holy crap. Unreal. And they're just so good. Next question. Right. I'm not leaving. Answer. What time is that? I was going to say, because you got to go, because i got to get birthdays on and get Figures. some more uh, commercials on and stuff. Okay. You know how that goes. Drink alone. <laughs> okay, George. For ahead. sure. <laughs> yes, yes I've, yes, I've met him. Thanks for having yes, me, guys. Sir. One last question. Yeah, cool. I think we're out of time. We're not. He's like, get him out of here. <laughs> He's, he's, he's the uh, gatekeeper. Can we just time. do voices again or no? Should we just stop? Stop. No, That's you can't. Here come the saving complaints. Saving that for later. I told you. Last name looks Don like Anger. Andrew. Last name looks like Anger. We pronounce it Anger. We're the weird ones. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That never well, happens. Yes, I'm calling for Don Anger. I have a complaint. Although, given the, given the rock and roll you listen to, Anger would be kind of fitting, don't you think? Music is such a lifesaver. We all, we all have it. It is. Thank it you, is. God. I'm so glad you're here. Have me back, please. And, I'm so uh, lonely. Have, have you so back. Lonely. Down the hall, you're going to have your own show here. I as will live I, here. As soon as I get the uh, stuff guy. submitted there. Happy, happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Casey Jones. Who didn't grow up on them, you know? Special day brings you lots of joy. Those were the days.
life. It's full of things that don't make sense. Like, say, sweater vests. I mean, if the point of a sweater is to keep you warm, why lop off the arms? But for every nonsensical thing in life, it's good to know there are things that always make sense. Like enrolling with UW Whitewater Online. Whether you're a first-time student or a busy professional looking to advance your career, we offer over 50 in-demand certificates, bachelor's, and master's programs, all designed to get you wherever you're destined to go. Learn more at uww.edu online.